Hey guys, and welcome back to the final mission of Treacherous Mansion in Luigi's Mansion 2. This is basically where the paranormal shit hits the fan. And uh, as Richie was saying in an earlier part, if you've been doing the optional missions, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem with this. It's kind of a timed mission. But uh, if, you've been, if you've been training, you'll get through this in one piece. You certainly won't wind up and boo yourself. It's fine. Calm down. No, no. Come back. They've left us, Richie. No, oh, no! It's so sad! Kind of hard coming up with intros at this point, I do apologise. They're basically E grade at this point, they're bungalow tier. Oh no, surely it should be like F tier because there's the tent. Yeah, oh, I want to look this shit up now, actually. Luigi's Mansion Ranked. Rank houses, here we go. I think we looked this up at the start of the game, but it bears repeating. Yes, well, I mean, it, it's a wonderful thing to see. H or H is a tent. Oh, it is, okay, it's that one. Uh, rank G is a tiny house, which looks more like a shed than anything. I think Luigi is either F or D. It's certainly not C, because that's definitely approaching Mansion 2. It's D. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it's D. Uh, yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Boo pun, Marabou. Which is apparently based on Marabou Storks. Ah, okay. Um, which is com sometimes called the Undertaker Bird. Due to its shape from behind, with its cloak-like wings and back, its skinny white legs and a sometimes large white mass of hair. There's certain variants that actually look like the wrestler, which is a really bizarre coincidence. I really I don't get how nature works at this point. Very, very recently in the news, like it may have been this morning, I'm not sure, um, but apparently researchers have found like a massive giant penguin in a shed, like the fossil of a giant penguin. I was going to say, just like a random penguin chilling out in a shed. Yeah, well I mean I have to say, when I was reading the article like, for a period I was just like, if they just found like just a giant penguin hanging out in the shed, how the hell has it survived? <laughs> and then it said fossil, just like... That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> the story went from incredulous to credulous in like two seconds flow. Cutscenes are never a good thing, especially in a game that doesn't really use cutscenes all that much. Oh, definitely. Also, I mean, King Boo's here, so... He looks really intimidating in this one, i got to say. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's the, uh, the black around the eyes and the glowing pink eyes. I, I mean, he had the whole black like, around his eyes in the first game, but it, because the boos were more translucent, it didn't have that much of a popping effect. Now they're more kind of solid, because, you know, the 3DS limitations and the fact everything's got jaggies here and there, but uh, he's still pretty intimidating. Mm, definitely. I mean, he's far, far, far more intimidating than he is in Super Mario Sunshine, where he just looks so daft. He looks goofy. It's ridiculous. Yellow. Luigi, shit has gone whack. But damn it, I was looking forward to having fun and thinking with portals. A dimension could collapse in on itself? What is this? A 3D Sonic game? <laughs> <laughs> the, the last boo you have to catch is just Solaris. Like, oh, I didn't expect that. So, um, shall I explain how this mission works? Please do, and uh, feel free to uh, rearrange your words when we get to the bonus content. Okay. Well, basically, so there are a bunch of ghosts in the, the mansion. As you can see on the map, they're kind of... The rooms that the ghosts appear in kind of have a, a coloured in, in green, at the start, when they first appear, and then over time they will gradually change to yellow and then red, and if they get any further than that, then it's mission over, basically, and the dimension has collapsed. Whoops, try again, I guess. <laughs> So basically you've got to try and catch all of the boots, well, not all of the boots, all the ghosts, in time, and you shall be fine. Egad will prompt you when shit's about to hit the fan good and proper. You'll also get a timer as well after a certain point. I'd say this is certainly one of the more challenging ones in the game because one, they throw a lot of ghosts at you and a lot of different ghosts. And also, I mean, if you haven't been doing this extra missions at this point, then it will be a very new experience. 
I don't know how, but if you manage to get here without any of the Poltergust upgrades, then good luck to you. This will be nigh on impossible. Pretty much, because you, you've got to be fast, you've got to be efficient, and kind of, you need those upgrades. You should already have been utilising the portals just to get about, and especially in the Toad mission where you kind of have to learn to use them properly. But uh, they're essential here, because you don't have time to be running hither and thither throughout this huge mansion. With the optional missions as well, every single one of these kind of paranormal activity, chaos things, requires a very intimate knowledge of the mansions that you're in and how to get from place to place, because that is the only way you're going to be able to be efficient. They're not too long, but for what they are, they're pretty fun. Although they do have the slight frustration of being mass gauntlet of ridiculous numbers of ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Well, not so much Gloomy Manor, because that's beginner mansion. Oh, yeah, but kind of here and certainly the optional one at the end of this. And the reason we actually left the uh, optional stuff until post-game is we have to complete a mansion as well as getting all the booze before it will unlock. And obviously, how are we going to beat the mansion here? It's by beating the final boss, so... Unless you do kind of playthroughs how I do them, and just like, if it happens like afterwards, then I'll do it afterwards, but if I can do it before, I'll do it before, and just be very lazy like that. I see you there, you sneaky bugger. Also, I like how we've still got like 10 minutes left of this wonderful ghost, ch ghost catching extravaganza. Um, you got any trivia left, Richie? Short answer, no. <laughs> Long answer, no! <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared to do this optional stuff so soon. <laughs> I'm not ready, it's not time! <laughs> I mean, I have to I could probably bring up the fact that somebody pointed out that I have a goofy laugh every now and again. Yeah, you just did a little bit of a he just there. Yeah. It's just like, oh god. <laughs> Feel a bit insecure now, Richie. Just, just a bit. So it's almost like when, like, doing start of Prince of Persia, and then Tom pointed out to me that it was just like, you do, you say um a lot. Yeah. And you have a stutter. And then I was editing. And I was just like, oh god, I do. These are the things you kind of have to learn and wean yourself off. Like I wasn't going to say anything, but in the previous part, you said basically about fifty thousand times when you were discussing Panto. Well, basically, yes. I mean, basically everything is fine, because basically it's, like, cool and everything. You're doing that on purpose! <laughs> <laughs> I'm suddenly reminded of Gareth trolling me in Sonic Unleashed, though. Yes, I mean, it's, it's almost like me trying to troll you with frozen quotes. It's okay, I've let it go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still got it. Oh, there's that timer. You gotta, you gotta hurry up, Luigi. Dimension's gonna collapse, and we've only got the one. So I like how sort of I think it was. It seems like it was just that room that was gonna cause it, but then not. Or I think it was because there were three rooms and two were yellow and one was green, so it was just like it's getting close. Speaking of things that are yellow, this is where the super portal comes comes in really handy, by the way, because look how fast his HP goes down there. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're not pleasant, those guys. Hate them with a passion. Well, let's take the portal back. Time is of the essence here. Uh, just run into the... Uh, the lights are getting burned already. <laughs> there we go. Just, just make everything burn. Oh, they brought the tornado ghosts as well. Brilliant. Well, I mean, they had to stick absolutely every possible type of ghost in here possible, because just to make the challenge the, as big as it is. Like, if this is a main mission, I shouldn't have think what the bonus one will be. I seem to recall it being incredibly horrifically hard <laughs> God damn. and stressful. I may be um, exaggerating things a little bit, 
because it's been quite a while, but I seem to recall just being like, Oh my god, everything's turning red! <laughs> it's the Dante must die of the Luigi's Mansion 2 experience. You die in the game, you die in real life. I, I think any video game that did that would, would just be like, just be so unfun. I think I read an article, I'm not sure how true this is, but there's like a thing, it's like a blood donor thing, where like if you bleed in the game, you bleed in real life because this thing pricks you. What? Yeah, I was just looking at that like, hmm, I hope this is like properly medicated and supervised because uh, some people could bleed out very quickly if that was the case. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds slightly horrific. Sounds stupid is what it sounds. Just a bit. Right, it's time for the main event now, Richie. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Battle on the Terrace. Here's me searching for health, kind of panicking a bit. The uh, suits of armor being very stingy. Yeah, they just can't be bothered. They, they want to keep their hearts with them. This kind of mass final gauntlet would be much more impressive but I don't know, there's something about the terrace that's not quite as terrifying or climactic as it probably could be. Well, there's the portal in the background, gives a nice bit of atmosphere. But then the portal is literally the only thing that's creating any sort of atmosphere. The, the terrace itself is just a bit bland. Yeah, yeah, if it warped kind of like the level design as it went on, that would have been a neat touch, I think. There's basically every type of ghost you fought in the game here. You've got green who's with uh, buckets on the reds. You've got slammers. You've got uh, the boo or the mummy greenies to deal with. You can rake and run into the torches. I guess that's why they're there. I prefer to just uh, unravel them the usual way. Well, I mean, it, basically, you just got to go with whatever you can possibly do because you don't have time to be fussy about how you take these guys out. It's just take them out now, otherwise you are screwed. Kind of hard to see that bucket, though. I know. It was, it was almost like it, it was vanishing as well. I apologise for missing bits and pieces of gold here and there, but again, like Richie said in the previous part, what do I need it for, though? And also, ain't nobody got time for doing this sort of treasure collecting at this point in time. The dimensions are about to collapse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should really take care of this hider. <laughs> Sneaker, Tom, sneaker. Jesus Christ, why do I always get these things mixed up? <laughs> it, it's like what rock or ground is weak against in Pokemon, I always get them mixed up. Oh, don't worry, I think everybody does. No, no, that's just Entom, baby. Pure Entom. Well, by everyone, I mean me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, it, it, it's a normal occurrence. This thing has entirely too much health points for what is essentially a disappearing and reappearing prick. It's almost like the booze in the original game. Yeah, yeah. Except thankfully he can't, you know, escape to a different room that's locked that you can't get in until, like, another three hours into the game. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I can do this blindfold and give me some challenge. Okay, that's a bit too much challenge. Also, I, I still just love the kind of just high-pitched squeals of the purple ghosts. Like, there's something, I mean, it, it's horrific, but it's it's slightly hilariously adorable when you suck them into your vacuum cleaner. She is a ghost sociopath, don't tell anyone. Remember the strategy for these guys. Suck them in, move slowly left and right, and when he's about to spit up, then press A. What's slightly odd about this is that, so, you've kind of basically cleared all the other rooms at this point. So the time thing turning up now is a bit weird, I mean it makes sense in the sense of this is the end of the mission and they want to create a sense of tension. But, like, none of the other rooms are getting filled up with ghosts. So, it's like, why is the dimension collapsing? Why is that timer still going? 
Egad! Turn off the timer! It's fine! We've saved the world, sort of! Like, what would happen if you got to this bit and the timer only had about 10 seconds left on it? Uh, I mean, I think you'd still complete the mission, but... <laughs> uh, no, I want the results screen to be Lu Luigi being sucked into a black hole. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Mamma mia! <laughs> Well, no, all you'd have to do then would be throw a couple of hundreds of lumas in there and it'd be fine. Yeah. Just reboot the universe. I love Sonic Colors. <laughs> it's the same ending, come on. It, well, not exactly. Same because, ending. Well, in Super Mario Galaxy, you, re you reboot the universe. In Sonic Colors, they just stop the black hole. Okay. Gold rag there. Didn't see you praising me for that. Sorry, I was I was too busy talking about Mario Galaxy and Sonic Colors. I was too busy fucking scrolling you, Tom. I ain't called X Gamer Richie for nothing. I'm extreme like that. <laughs> <laughs> it gets harder. Don't worry, but they're optional. Therefore, we can make them as hard as we want. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh God, the treacherous mansion one. I seem to just I just have bad memories of it. We'll probably be doing like one or two mansions per part because they're only about like five to ten minutes each. They are very short. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. He's not he's not insane or anything. He probably just thought it'd be funny. Yeah, because he's such a joker like that. Yeah, yeah. Work with me here, Luigi. Okay, no answer. Luigi's like, oh, I gotta find a new line of work. <laughs> Being a plumber who catches ghosts just ain't working out for me. <laughs> okay, we shall see you all next time when we procure the final part of the Dark Moon. See you then.